Thank you. Um, let me try to share my slide. Okay. Um, I hope you can see my slides now. Yep. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna present this work, Lifted Model Checking for Relational MDPs. It's a joint work with uh, Jean-François Raske and Luc Terat. Before I dive into uh, what's going on, uh, I wanna explain what it means uh, with PCTL Rebel, which is the software that we developed. Um, PCTL is a temporal logic and Rebel stands for Relational Bellman Operator, uh, which was originally a model-based reinforcement learning technique that updates the state value function. And we adapt it uh, in a model checking context. So yeah, what is model checking? The main purpose of model checking is that we're given a model and a property, and we want to answer this yes, no question. Does the model satisfy the property? Then to do that, we have some basic ingredients, in, including a Markov decision process, um, which is a, a set of states, a set of actions, and a set of transitions. We have some state relations. Um, now we're using a blocks world. So we can say a block is on top of another block or a block is clear, meaning there's no other blocks on top of it. We can also specify the colors of different blocks in the model. For example, this one, uh, it's a state that says um, a blue block A is on top of a green block B and block A is clear. Of course, we can also uh, describe actions in this model um, saying uh, we can move around the blocks like this. Uh, if we move, move block A from block B to the floor, then we uh, obtain a new state um, where block A and B are both clear. And we can actually use this move action to uh, different blocks. We have this action template here, um, which uh, expresses this uh, probabilistic transition. Uh, the probability of successfully moving a block is 0 0.9. And with a probability of 0 0.1, the action fails and the state remains the same. Besides the model, we also need to specify the property. So uh, we have this PCTL language or operators that we can use um, that includes negation, conjunction, disjunction. We can also say a condition must hold in the future a condition must hold in the next state, or condition one must hold until condition two is satisfied. Um, and we can also put probability bounds uh, over the property. So this is one example saying um, in the future, uh, within five actions, the probability of reaching the state um, X is on top of Y and X is blue, Y is green, must be equal to or larger than 0 0.9. So how does it look in blocks world? Uh, we have this blocks world with 10 blocks with different colors of blocks. And we have this property, can the red block be on top of another red block within five actions with a probability larger than 0 0.8? which is uh, formally represented as this. And uh, the question is simple. We just want a yes or no. Um, but it turns out this is already too many states for any state of the art model checkers because they are not relational. They are not designed for uh, exploiting relational structures. So uh, it's very obvious that we are encountering a state explosion problem, which is not uncommon in the model checking setting. And there have been many choices that we can choose from depending on the reasons of the state explosions, including symbolic model checking, which compactly represents a set of states using a decision diagram. Uh, because of this special data structure, we can efficiently manipulate uh, this set of states. 
We also have some abstract MDPs, which make abstraction over action sequences. For example, a low level action sequence going right, right, up, up, right, open a door up, can be represented by a high level action from room A to room B. And this is related to uh, hierarchical reinforcement learning like uh, we saw earlier. Um, we also have abstraction refinement techniques, which partition the state space into regions. Um, states in the same region have similar local properties. So we can use, we can just apply classic model checking techniques onto, on the regions instead of on the individual states. But all these uh, methods, they, they exploit some sort of symmetries in the model, but they don't exploit the relational symmetries in the model, which means um, once we're, uh, if we're adding more and more objects uh, into the domain, into the model, um, they can still explore. So um, the key to, to this relate, relational domains um, is that many objects actually share the same dynamics in a, in a system. Um, we can move around all blocks in the exact same way. And this is what we exploit. Um, and this is what we use in PC or Rebel and this is the main concept behind it. Our task is that given a relational MDP and a PCTO property to compute a set of abstract states that represents all states that satisfy the property. And we want to do this without having to construct the full ground model. Um, so it's so-called lifting. And there are two main core ideas behind this. The first one is we're taking abstractions with respect to the property. So we're not interested in object identities. We're not interested in the full state description. What we focus on is the state features that are relevant to the property. Because in the end, we just want the yes, no uh, answer to, to the question. And the second core idea is lifting, which means that we use variables to represent a set of states. And because, because of this, because of the use of variables, we can avoid constructing the foreground model. And this allows us to reason about um, a very large set of states uh, as a whole. So um, how does it look in, in this blocks world? We have the same model here and the property here. The, Relevant feature, the only one of them is whether the block is red or not when we're considering this property, which means we don't really need to know the colors of all other objects that are not red. So we can just be um, ignore their colors like this. Then it's very similar to planning that we have a so-called goal state and we can um, reason backwards uh, for the preconditions until we reach the initial state. And here we use this rebel prime operator uh, to reason backwards. And at this point, it's uh, very important to re-mention uh, what rebel is. It's a relational Bellman operator. It's a re reinforcement learning technique that updates state values in relational domains. So it's, it's also lifted. Uh, we have to, uh, adapted in a model checking context. So we in, reinterpret, we rebel to update instead of state values, state probabilities now. We also need to uh, make some other changes to rebel so that we can actually compute um, other operators in our language. So yeah, we can uh, perform logical regression using rebel prime to reason backwards until we reach the initial state, then we can answer um, whether the state uh, satisfies the property or not. So is this just planning? Uh, well, it is more than that because planning is a special case of model checking. It is commonly called a reachability property. 
and PCTL Rebel supports a full PCTL language. Uh, it allows different PCTL operators, uh, the onTIL operator, the next operator, also conjunction negation. It also allows for nested formulae such as this one. And um, it allows for infinite models, which means we can have a property that has an infinite horizon and we can check this property against a infinite lar infinitely large model. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, how, how we obtain this ability uh, in infinite domains. It is um, clear that if we are working on the, at the ground level with a ground MVP and we have infinitely many objects in the domain, the state space uh, would be infinitely large and each state would also be infinitely large. Um, so it's uh, in general undecidable. To obtain the decidability, we had to make an assumption um, that each state is actually finitely uh, large, which means um, we can see it as having a table in a blocks world. Um, at any moment, there can be infinitely many blocks in the world, but at any I, at any moment, we can only have a finite number of objects on the table. And this is uh, what we look at in, in the state description. So a state bounded uh, model is a um, kind of a special case of all ground infinite MDPs. And we this is a class of models that we obtain decidability of the model checking problem. So how do we do that? Uh, we already made the state description finite. We also now need to make the state space finite. And we do that by lifting again. We construct a finite abstraction, which we called an abstract uh, MVP, um, which uses variables to represent states. So we have abstract states now and um, to, we can use finitely many abstract states to represent uh, infinitely uh, large state space. So it is clear that uh, this model is decidable because it's finite, but at the same time, it can still have infinitely many do uh, objects in the domain. So, and then uh, we showed in the paper that uh, these two, models form a pairwise by simulation, which means um, the abstraction, abstract RNVP, is a sound abstraction with respect to a given property. And this is this abstract RNVP can be naturally um, handled by our software. And there are more details in the paper. So finally, evaluation. Uh, we compare PCTL Rebel with state-of-the-art model checkers and other model checking techniques. Um, on the x-axis, we enlarge the number of objects uh, in a domain. And on the, on the y-axis, uh, we observe the runtime would increase while uh, the number of objects increase, increases. And we use the blocks world uh, under the timeout of 30 minutes, and we use a simple reachability property, which says block A will be on top of block B within 10 actions uh, with a probability larger than or equal to 0 0.5. On this graph, we can see that um, lifted model checking is more scalable than explicit state model checking, which is more scalable than symbolic model checking. And state of the art model checkers can, add, can handle at most nine blocks in the world, which is uh, roughly 4.5 million states. And PCTO Rebel under the same timeout can handle 15 blocks, which is uh, 65 trillion states. So in the end, um, to conclude, we introduced a framework for lifted model checking in relational domains. 
uh, we introduced an implementation that outperforms uh, state-of-the-art model checkers in relational domains. And we also proved that um, it is uh, that this side, the model checking problem is decidable for um, a special case of um, infinite MDPs. Uh, for the future, uh, we think this PCTO Rebel is a pretty interesting framework for uh, model checking, but since it adapts uh, Rebel, the original uh, reinforcement learning technique, we think it, it would also be very interesting to use it in a safe reinforcement learning setting where we consider uh, rewards in the model and we can kind of specify a safety requirement using um, the PCTL language, then we can do something about it. And that concludes my talk. Thanks for your attention.